Hi, I'm Rabbi Fenster, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself. I grew up in Queens, New York, in an extremely Jewish family. My father is a prominent conservative rabbi in the New York area, so we always had a lot of Torah books in our home. To this day, in his 90s, my father learns every day. I and all my siblings were sent to the Psalm Chapter schools. I attended Alpha University in upstate New York, and then SUNY at Purchase, majoring in history. After college, I decided I wanted to learn Talmud. I didn't know how. My thinking went something like this. Most things in life are in flux. A person lives in different places. Our bodies change. Money comes and goes. But one thing in my life I knew would remain constant. That's my being Jewish. I was born Jewish, and I'm going to die Jewish. So I figured it is probably worthwhile investing some time in this. For me, that meant going to the primary sources. I needed to check things out for myself. As a teenager, I had fallen in love with Jerusalem. I saw Jerusalem when it was a divided city before the Six Day War. I was electrified when the Israeli army unified the city two months after my bar mitzvah. For me, as for many others, that was a watershed moment in my life. So after college, I bought a one-year ticket and I was off to Jerusalem to study. I put myself into yeshiva where a person without a yeshiva background could learn how to learn much different than today. At that time, there were very few opportunities like that. From day one, my Rosh Hashiva Rabbi Goldstein told us not just to study Talmud, but to learn about the Talmud, to learn the books that talk about Talmud study. He said it would help us to go deeper in our learning and in general make learning easier. I took him at his word, and he was right. I married a girl from Kansas City, and God has blessed us with nine children and a big and growing bunch of grandchildren. Our home is an English-speaking home, and we have a turkey on the Friday night of Thanksgiving. I happen to like turkey. My daughters have all gone through the Beis Yaakov system, and my sons have all learned in the Israeli yeshiva system. We have been lucky enough to live in the Jewish quarter of the old city our whole married lives. We could hear from our home the celebrations at the Kotel the night Natan Sharansky arrived in Israel. We rushed into the sealed rooms during the first Gulf War, and we lived through two intifadas. That was not fun. We have seen the Jewish quarter develop from unpaved streets and plazas with construction workers and their donkeys into a beautiful community of 700 families. Along the way, I was tested by the chief rabbi's office for smicha, and I passed. I also got smicha from some of the prominent rabbis in Jerusalem and from my Rosh Yeshiva. I teach Talmud in several yeshivas and ran my own program with a very good friend of mine for a number of years. I've always taught a systematic, aware thinking approach to help my students gain insight and organize their thinking. I believe if organized and arranged and presented properly, this will open the door for anyone who wants to get more easily involved in deeper learning. So I have remained pretty much on the same track all these many years of learning how to learn Talmud. The only difference is I started as a seeker and I became an instructor. Now I am only too happy to help other seekers on their path to success. Yeah.